Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday haul. It is Friday, April 12th. I hope you guys are doing great. Everything is good here. Um, I have some happy mail that I wanted to share with you, as well as a lot of different crafty things. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, I got some happy mail from my friend Carolyn, who is my Crafty Adventures here on YouTube. And if you're not familiar with her, I will leave her link down below in the description box. Um, she was going to be in town last weekend, so we had planned to get together, but then I wasn't feeling well, so we did not. But she did send me um, some goodies that she had been planning to give to me, and I have to send her a package also, which I still haven't done, but it's on my list. <laughs> but Carolyn was really prompt and sent this right away. So thank you so much, my friend. That was very nice of you. I'm sorry that we couldn't get together, but hopefully next time you're in town, things will work out better. So let's open this up. All I did was take it out of the shipping box, and everything is in this beautiful bundle butterfly box and it's got lilies of the valley on it and daffodils it's just so pretty I can't wait to use this in my craft room as storage so what a what a nice way to present a gift and it's got this magnetic closure so this is what's on the inside oh and there was a ribbon around it too I took it off already just wanted to tell you um so yeah I, I just opened it and I took a peek but I haven't looked in you know thoroughly inside. So let's do that together. Isn't this the prettiest gift box? You presented this so beautifully, Carolyn. First, let's start with this over here. And this is a lavender. Is it a candle? Oh, I love lavender. Made in New York by Brooklyn Candle Studio. Ooh, let's take a look. I'm going to sniff it. Oh, that smells so good. This will go um, either here in my craft room because I do burn candles or when I'm taking a bath I'll put it like on the on this side of my bathtub thank you and it's such a relaxing scent too which is good for uh, us who have migraines as Carolyn and I have talked about so thank you so much and I just can't wait to dive into this beautiful it looks like um, a, oh a tag flap oh my gosh and the the um, bag that it's in it's iridescent it's so pretty so let's take this off on this beautiful hot air balloon. Oh, I've got a piece of shred on my finger. Look how she decorated this. And you cut the, the balloon, the detail out of some gold foil paper. Look at these flowers, so many layers in there. I love how you rolled them like that. That is really, really pretty. And pretty ephemera that's all like layered different levels, makes it nice and dimensional. There are diamond dots diamond dots on these flowers, some glitter paper, and it's a shaker. So there are all these pretty confetti sequins and the little like rolled ones. So beautiful. I love this uh, binder ring you put on here too. And it's, look how nice and thick that is. That's so nice and thick. So you open it up and it says beauty. And oh, this is so pretty. This is, um, I know this collection. It's a, oh, oh, I can't think of it now. Is it Simple Stories? right? But I love it. And you put a really pretty satin bow here with a beautiful rose cabochon. Love all the details. Looks like Nouveau drops there and here too. Wow, you did them really nicely. Little ones here and bigger ones there. Very nice. And some sparkle on the word beauty. So lovely. Love it. And then the next page has a gorgeous rosette. This looks like one of KS Crafts diamond rosettes maybe. And some ephemera there. Some, um, Nouveau drops, another piece of ephemera. Look, look how nice this is. I love this trim here. I love how you added the trims on the, the bottom of the um, of the balloon. That's super cute. Really, really cute. And then the last page is a tool shaker. I love to make these too with all the pretty uh, shaker bits, some gold cording, and some um, more ephemera there or a puppy sticker this moment. Thank you, Carolyn. This is so pretty. This is going in my craft room on display with some other things that my crafty friends have made me. I love it. It's beautiful and it's going to inspire me. Thank you so much. Let's keep going. Oh, look at this. This is, oh, it's a little um, like a strawberry basket. You know, I love this. How cute. What a nice way to um, package goodies. And I love this ribbon too. Definitely saving that. That's beautiful. Anything pink I like, of course. Especially this. It's really pretty. I think I could just probably slide this off. Sorry, guys. Frankly. Okay. So inside, 
Ooh, a beatable pen. I love these. Yay. I cannot get enough of beatable pens. I like to make them. I like to get them. I use the ones that I get from people and it just reminds me of them when I use them. And this is really pretty. I love the beads used because they're lightweight so it doesn't make the pen too heavy to use. It's a really pretty like metallic pink pen. So nice. And then in here, in this cute little basket with the ribbon trim or the trim trim. <laughs> That's cute. What is this die from? I don't have that one. Um, then there's this little package of, are these note cards? Uh oh, cause I see envelopes too. Here, let me open this up. Okay. So yeah, oh, these are little note cards that you made with envelopes. Awesome. These would be perfect enclosures and gifts. So pretty. Oh, I love these. Yes, I have this paper collection and I love it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thank you. What a nice practical gift. I love the shred you put in there too. Look at that. Such pretty colors. So there's that. Let's keep going. And then, oh, so pretty. I love these bags that you used. And there's a nice sticker on the back. Looks like a memory decks card. Oh, so beautiful. I love how everything coordinates together. Let me just look at the back. Okay, so it says Handmade by Carolyn, My Crafty Adventures. That's her information, which I'll also leave the links down below. Really pretty. Love how you put the tool on it. So many different layers and textures. That really brings a project to life. Use crepe paper for the rosettes. It's gorgeous. Love these flowers with the little center. So pretty, but all three of them. And ooh, look at this. It says J for Jen. Oh, it's a little notebook. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so pretty. And it's got a pen inside. Oh, this is gorgeous. And it's got a pen. Oh, this is so pretty. Where's the pen? Does it just, oh, I see. It pops in the side. I was looking on the inside. But it goes into the spine and there's a sticker there covering it now. Oh, this is beautiful. I love the soft white color too. So nice. I use notepads all the time. I carry books like this in my purse so I could keep my shopping list and write notes and stuff like that. So I love this. It's so pretty. Everything coordinates, Carolyn. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's move on. And we have this gorgeous box. Ooh, box of boxes. And it's got the a cute little handle here. Wow, you made this, right? How did you put this together? Was it like a SVG file or something? I don't know anything about those. So if I see something that I don't think is a die, I assume it's an SVG file. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it is. And there are all these little boxes in here. So let's see what's in here. Ooh, look, yay, a whole bunch of flowers. Carolyn, you know I don't like to make flowers. So, oh, good. I have my own little stash of flowers. Thank you. And these boxes are so cute. How handy to store things in here. Let's take a look at the rest. Okay, what's in this one? Ooh. Ooh, yay! Oh, these are little, oh, the back here. Little circles with the, um, with the uh, tops on them to make them like rounded and to seal them. So you could add these to bottle caps or just like on the back of an envelope. Oh, these are so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, thank you, I love these so nice to get gifts from your crafty friends of course anything you, you get I'm happy or you know you give I'm happy for but things that you could use is just such a bonus you know Ooh, what's in here Ooh, all sorts of words flourish and they're stitched spring I think these are chaos craft words bloom oh I love these Oh, and again, you know, these I can put right onto my projects. Thank you, friends. Look at how many more boxes there are. Let's see what's in this one. And this one is, ooh. Oh, these are so cool. Are these, they're little page flags. Yes, I thought they were. Oh, this is adorable. And the way you presented them like that, little post-it notes. How cute. Oh, good, because I, I use these a lot too, especially like in my notebooks when um, in my craft room and I write down different things, you know, design team stuff or videos I want to make or happy mail I need to send. So I like to put post-it notes to remind me where to look. This one we have, oh, looks like some rosettes. Oh, good. I don't like making these either. And these are so nice and thick and chunky, made out of crepe paper. And then all the uh, sequins and 
fun findings on the on the edges and hearts in the middle oh these are great nice and chunky I love those and you know I love these colors so much okay let's see and I got this the other day and I was waiting for today's video to share it with you guys and get these last two boxes out okay so this one has oh, this is so nice of you oh these little clipboards I love them so cute and these are ready to embellish I love these colors and look at the the heart on the on the little clip art oh there's more too oh my gosh there's a lot Carolyn you spoiled me my goodness oh thank you I'm so sorry we couldn't meet up I and then the last box has something happy Ooh, oh look at this chunky charm oh my god that is beautiful all the pretty macaron colors that's what I call them pinks and yellows and aquas and blue look at that um, butterfly that is a gorgeous charm and that little bird I had those birds too I love them did you yes you made all this for me thank you so much I love these colors I'm gonna put this on I want to put it on my purse I don't want it to get knocked around too much though but I probably will I'll just be careful Thank you so much. I think that is everything in the box. Yes, thank you, Carolyn. I really appreciate everything. Everybody, don't forget to go over to her channel, My Crafty Adventures, if you're not following her already. Now, I'm just going to put this stuff away, and uh, we'll get back to the haul. Thanks again, my friend. Okay, back to the haul. Thanks again for everything, Carolyn. What beautiful things. I can't wait to show my family. So I went to Dollar Tree and I found a few things. Usually I haven't been finding too much stuff, but I found when they have foam mounting squares, I tend to buy them because I use these a lot in my paper crafting to pop stuff up just a little bit, not like on the foam tape, but if you use the squares, it pops things up a little bit so you could add different levels of dimensions. So I got those. I love those and the circles, but I was running low on the squares. Um, I found these flowers, which I think other people have hauled, I'm pretty sure, but my store never had them before. So these are Crafter Square 35 piece flowers. So there were these two colors. I didn't see any other ones. So I love both of them. Aren't those nice for $1.25? I thought this was a great, great find, especially these because they have the different color on the inside. So really pretty. That was nice. And then I've seen other people haul these. These are the cosmetic cases from Sassy and Chic. This was in the front of the store. I've got a black cat hair there. Um, with the Mother's Day gifts. And it came, there was also one that had like a pink and orange uh, selection. But I just I love this top color one. Oh, get off there. So I thought these would be fun to put like um, Happy Mail in. So I got that. And then I got these nails because... I think I hauled last week the, the nail like uh, clipper thing to shorten artificial nails. I would never buy these in the past because they're way too long, but I'm gonna try to use that clipper and shorten them because I really do like the colors. And it does come with 24 in the pack, so you only have to buy one pack. And they're by Ladybird Beauty, so I don't think that's a Dollar Tree brand. I don't, I, I don't know, but um, anyway, so I got those. And let's see. Oh, and I found this chenille yarn. This is a different brand that they usually have. And um, I really like the color. It's very soft pink and just really nice. So I figured I would grab that. And I did use a bunch of my chenille yarn making those hearts at Valentine's Day. So I got that. And I think that is it from Dollar Tree, which is pretty good for me to get a bunch of stuff. Uh, I got this ribbon at Walmart and I just wanted to show it. it's from Offre and oh, I forget how much it cost. It was not expensive at all, but I liked it because it's an, a nice thin ribbon. So let me get my scissors and we'll take a look. So it looks like it's about a quarter of an inch. It probably says on there, right? Yeah, quarter inch by 12 feet. So isn't that pretty? I thought this would be nice to tie bows on your projects and it's double-sided, which is nice. You don't have to worry about it, you know, looking backwards in some parts in your bow. So yeah, I really like that. Um, I got another ribbon at Joann's, which I'll show you in a minute when I get up to that. So that was the only crafty thing I got at Walmart this week. And then, whoops, I got a piece of the tape stuck to me. Just put that back. Like I said, I did go to Joann's and they were having that sale 10 for $3 on paper. And I got the ribbon too. So 
this is the ribbon that I got. Hang on one second. Let me just move my receipt and put that stuff there. Okay, so this is the other ribbon I got from Offre again. And this is tiny um, grow grain aqua ribbon. This is one eighth of an inch. So you can see the difference in the size, but I love, I do have like small um, grow grain, not grow grain, I have small aqua ribbon, but not grow grain. So I was glad to find that. And I got this fabric because, I don't know, I was just looking at the fabric, which I do sometimes when I'm there, and I loved it. Look at the print. Isn't that nice? And they were having a sale. Their novelty fabrics were, instead of $10.99 a yard, it was $6.99. And this one's called Baker's Kitchen, in case you are looking for it. It's all cotton. It's in the quilting section. So... Um, I'm planning just to make an apron out of it. And I have a pattern from Dollar Tree from a long time ago, which I never used to make an apron. I've, I've made my own patterns for aprons too, so I could always do that. But I'm going to open up the Dollar Tree one and uh, make an apron in this. Look, it's even got strawberries. I didn't even notice that. So such a cute fabric. I had to get it, right? So I got that. And then, like I said, I got some papers. Um, I got two of these. This is Basil something, Marine Mist. It's just a really saturated aqua color, which I always use. I got two of these. These are from Woodland Grove from Maggie Holmes. And these were a part of the sale too. This one is called Bold Beauty. Love that floral. Not, you know, I don't care about that side, but got the floral. And then I got a few pinks. I got this shade of pink, which is called Petal, Petal Soft. And it's nice and light. I forget the one that I usually get, but they were, they were out of it. So I think it was Pinkini. This one is pink icing, which is very similar, but this one is smooth and a little bit darker. The uh, petal soft is textured. So those are the only papers I got and the ribbon and the fabric. And that was it from Joann's. I got two orders in from Timo. Um, let's see, one of them I used already. And if you watched my project share video, my latest one with Scrap Diva Designs, I shared this cute little um, mini vials gift box and this was one of the things that I got from Timu these orange slices and it pretty much filled up the whole vial I'll link the orange slices down below I actually placed an order for more of them since I used all of them that'll be coming next week probably they're like the same as the yellow ones too so and I still can't find big lime slices if you guys uh, know where to get those let me know not the teeny tiny ones but like this kind of size so anyway I got those oranges and then I thought these were so cute. They're little like pencil cups or, you know, just you could put your beautiful pens in here or pokey tools or whatever. And they're so cute. And they were like less than $2 each. So I got the yellow one and I got a pink one too. The pink one I haven't taken out of the package yet, but you just, you know, stick the bottom into the top. And, and uh, I just thought they were adorable. They come in different colors. So I grabbed two of those for some craft room storage. And then I got these beads. These were glass beads that are fillable. And these came packaged so well. They came in like triple wrapped in bubble wrap. So I was appreciative of that. But they're, um, I forget what size they are, but again, I will link them down below, all my Timu stuff. And they have a hole there so you can fill them up with stuff and put a topping on. I thought they'd be cute with the, with the gumball machine beads. So, and there's a ton in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them. Maybe I'll just have to gift some. Yeah, so I got those. And then what's in here? I got this little package of, oh yeah, the Suns. And I couldn't find the ones at Hobby Lobby, so I, I got these. Well, these are some of the ones that I got. Aren't these cute? These are different than the Hobby Lobby ones, but I thought they were adorable. They have little um, bows on them and just a cute little smile. And they're made really well. It comes with, I thought there were more. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Eight, I guess. I thought there were ten. Okay, yeah, sorry. I didn't open them all or dump them all out. So it comes with ten of these really cute little suns right so i got those i'll put them in there and then i got these suns too um i think these are more like the hobby lobby ones and this came i think it was only a variety pack i'm not sure maybe you could get just the one color but uh the yellow ones i think are super cute and they're glittered right really cute but these ones here, they're not colored on the side, like the orangey ones, and I'm not crazy about that. So 
I don't know. I guess I can get over it, but <laughs> I really like the yellow ones. So there's that, 10 of those. Put those in there too. And let's see, what's in this one? I have so much stuff to show you guys. This is a long video, huh? And these are tiny little clouds, not like the Hobby Lobby ones. These are really little and the faces are different too. And they have little hearts on them. So there's the little pink one and then there are blue ones too. And this one comes probably with 10 too. Um, yeah, so I thought those were adorable. Oh, there's purple too. I didn't even notice that. So let's see, looks like three of each. Yeah, so really, really cute. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff, you guys. I got these charms, these little cupcakes. It's a long video, isn't it? Hope that's okay. You could always pause it and come back later if I'm taking too long or <laughs> not watch the whole thing. But these come with five little cupcake charms. And sometimes I just like flat little metallic charms like this. These have like a you know gold color backing and they have little yellow uh, sprinkles and bows on top. And they have a little hole, of course, for the charm. So it's nice to have things like this, things that aren't quite as bulky in your stash. So I got those. And then these I've been seeing people get, uh, these are the little bikini charms. So I thought these would be really fun for summer projects, like summer traveler's notebooks or photo albums or something like that. So these come in a variety of colors. So there's the blue one. It's not cute. And like the top and bottom are connected by uh, a couple jump rings or a jump ring. So cute, right? So there's blue, there's white, black, red. I don't know. I don't remember if you could get one certain color or oh, look at the pink one or if you had to get the variety pack. But yeah, so there's a bunch of those really cute summery charms. And then I got these. Oh, these are little like strawberry ice cream sundae charms and if you could see them they're very detailed so they have um, like pink ice cream with whipped cream and strawberries and a cookie and a straw and a cherry on top so, and these are gold background too or backing too and the backing has like like a grid pattern so i think that's kind of cool so there are probably 10 or 12 of these too adorable and then let's see i got these little strawberries and i'm not sure what kind of material these are i was thinking they were clay but it doesn't look like it let's see okay these are more like like acrylic so actually i kind of like that better those are different and they just look like a, a halved strawberry. And they even have green on the top, painted nicely. I like those a lot. I think you can use those in a, in a thick shaker or just as embellishments, maybe a bow center. So there's a whole bunch of those. And then I got these cute little bees. I'm pretty sure these were in the nail art section. Probably those strawberries were too. But these are so cute. And these look like they're acrylic as well. Yeah, maybe I should have opened all these beforehand. That's what I'm telling myself right now. I don't know. I just get everything in a pile and I turn the camera on. <laughs> All right. So here they are. Cute, tiny little acrylic bees. So cute. I, I don't know. I couldn't put these on my nails. I would feel like there's just something on there that I had to get off. But I like them as craft embellishments, right? So teeny tiny. Love them. And then I got these... You know, I have these little duck floaties, but I don't have these kind of translucent ones. So I picked these up and these are so cute. See, they're like all different colors, but translucent. And they're kind of like, these are the other ones I have that, okay, these are bigger, these other ones that I have. So these are smaller and otherwise they look very similar just you know translucent so it looks like there's two of each color i have still have some back here but uh except for the green and clear there's one each of those so yeah those are cute right again you know you can use those in your projects like the other mini vial gift box that i made i used one of those duck floaty 
charm so you could go ahead and check out that video if you want to see those then i got these i think i saw these on leanna's um channel it's a deal i think so hi leanna if you're watching um i saw them on somebody's i'm pretty sure it was hers these are like circles with fruit on them and just kind of like a little like it looks like a, a flower cookie behind them so there's all different fruits and you get two of each banana pineapple strawberries cherries and carrots which is not a fruit but still cute so i love those those are so cute these will be perfect rosette uh, centers i think if you're into that or bow centers or whatever we'll figure something out for those and that might be it for Timu. Let me let me see. I'm looking. I have some other stuff. Oh no, wait. I got this air freshener from my car. It's Hello Kitty with the strawberry, of course. And I do have a Hello Kitty air freshener in my car right now that I got from Hot Topic. It was so cute. It has strawberry milk on it, but the scent kind of ran out. So I figured I would get this one. And let me smell this. It says strawberry. I don't remember if that's what the scent was, but let me smell it. Yep, it's strawberry. It smells good too, actually. So I'm going to put that in my car. And then I ordered some things from one of my favorite cabochon shops on Etsy, which is called Sugar Sunrise. And I will link them down below. She usually has really cute, unique stuff, like things that you can't find on Ali or Timu. So I do order from her occasionally. And I got these little ship wheel cabochons. And I, yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. They're pink which is amazing and again I was thinking summertime projects summertime dangles and I think they're plastic but they have the hole there of course and yeah I think this will be really nice for for a summer or nautical theme project and then I got these cute little airplanes they're aqua and pink and red maybe not pink yeah a little bit of pink and they have like stitching detail on them I'm going to have to put all this stuff. Luckily, I have some space in my storage containers for all these cabochons. But look how cute these are. And it comes with six of them. So, you know, six is fine. I'm not going to need more than six of these. But I thought they were so cute. They're a good size and, you know, like very unique. You don't see charms or cabochons like this. And then, oh, speaking of unique, I got these too. These are little, like, um... They look like Nintendo Switch controllers. I think that's the game it looks like. But they're pastel and they have cute little images in them. I'm sorry, if you don't like crinkling, this is not the video for you. I apologize. Okay, so let me just get one out to show you. So it's got like a cute little image. It says victory. Oops, let me hold that so you can see it. With little like animals on it and the different colors of the controllers. So there's aqua. This blue one says cool. And there's yellow and dark pink, purple, light pink. These both say win. Yeah, so they just kind of vary the, uh, or repeat the, the screen, but different colors for the controller. So adorable, right? Because I know, you know, not just boys like video games. And then I got these little cherries too. I like these because each pair of cherries has a different cherry on it. One of them is polka dot and the other one is solid. So there's a yellow and red one, yellow and pink, whoops. Those two, which are just kind of opposite each other. Where'd that go? Oh, those two are the same and that one. So cute little variety, kind of. So I got those. And then the last thing of cabochons I got were these funky little cherries, I thought. They're like, you know, like raspberry beads are kind of like bumpy all around. These are like that, but in cherry form. Let me get my scissors. All right, so these are the cherries. So it comes with pink and red ones, and you can see the texture on them. They're nice and tiny too. I just thought they were different. They're kind of sparkly too. So yeah, I got those. And again, I will link the shop down below. Um, I'll try to link the individual items too, because I know sometimes they're hard to find. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was the stack of little bowls I got from Target. And these are a set Oh, four. I thought it was three. Uh, four mini bowls. And this was $3. And I like them because they're like translu translucent little bowls. These were on an end cap um, 
you know, in the like kitchen section where they have the plastic dishes and water bottles and things like that. So they had some other things in this same type of look. Like I think they had a big bowl, but I thought these would be nice just to keep all my stuff in my craft room, you know, like my cabochons and ephemera and things I'm working on. So yeah, that is it for today, you guys. Thank you if you stuck around to the end. I am so glad you did, and um, I hope you like everything. Thank you again, Carolyn, for the beautiful happy mail. Your package will be going out soon. I just have to get it together still, but um, yeah. So I'll be doing that, and let's see. I hope you guys watched my my haul video from Miss Kate's Cuddables. She's a really cute April subscription box. So um, that it's called Birthday Wishes, has all sorts of cute papers and ephemera and stickers. So that was my last video before this. And I'll have more Scrap Diva Designs videos coming up, more KS Craft. I do have a one video, video out already for that. So yeah, I've been busy and I hope you guys are keeping busy and enjoying yourselves too. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend. I'd love to hear what you think about this haul. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to link as much as I can down below, of course. So that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care, everyone. Bye.